Okay, we got a phone call this morning about six o'clock that there was a stranded whale in an area that we know has Blainesville beaked whales and Hutuli beaked whales. So the whale's still alive, but it's severely emaciated. They tried to refloat it, push back on the ocean, it swims right back, and it doesn't float up right. It's doing the goldfish thing kind of. Uh. They don't want to release it back out to deeper water because in that area it's hard to be able to recover it if it strands somewhere else. But the other thing is the chance of the locals eating it. So they're hanging onto it there, just waiting for nature to run its course on it. So we got to get our truck hooked up to our trailer over here. Now the problem that we have with this morning with our trailer is this will be the first whale run with this trailer. Get it so the sunlight's not killing me. And uh, I got to go get some new tires for it. So we'll hurry up and get some new tires. And the other thing that we notice is this is an American trailer and uh, uses a ball joint. So we're gonna have to chop the ball joint off and weld a new system on it so it will fit this style. So we gotta do all that, then get ready, and then head out. It's about 60 kilometers from here. So only about 35 miles, but 35 miles in the Philippines, cover my license plate, 35 miles in the Philippines will take us up to about two hours. So we gotta hurry up and get this done and get on the way. So gotta get everything ready. Join us on what's next. We got a little bit of a problem because we got an animal that weighs about a thousand pounds and we got backlight behind you so I can move over to the side. Bantay mong dagat means take care of your ocean. Stop throwing garbage in the canals and the rivers so that these guys don't die.
nothing in there. So there's no um, poop compacted. Anything we're going to find is going to be here in the stomach where we actually just snagged it. So we're going to cut this part back in here. Plantation. Seriously. whale died this morning because of literally a mountain worth of garbage inside of its stomach. This plastic blocks the stomach so it's not able to digest its food, which causes it to die of dehydration and starvation and slowly and painfully to the point that it was actually puking up blood this morning. This is everybody's garbage. Everything from grocery bags to 16 rice sacks inside of its stomach. This whale did not need to die today. This whale is a juvenile, a teenager, but it died because of plastic garbage that people irresponsibly threw away either in the canals or straight into the ocean. This is unacceptable. You have to decide if you're gonna be the change for your country and actually stop these from dying. Otherwise, these kinds of animals will not be found for the next generation. This is disgusting. There is no excuse why a nation should allow this to continue to go on. It is every single citizen in that nation causing this problem. Be the change, make the change. Don't wait for the next generation or there will be no more animals. 